All right, guys, I had a request to uh, do a uh, drop shot video and uh, kind of show you how I do it and uh, go through it as far as uh, Maraud set up, uh, how I tie it. So uh, let's get to that. And drop shot is nothing more than a reverse Carolina rig. You've got your weight on the bottom instead of in the middle, and your bait is suspended up uh, above there. So you can kind of catch those suspended fish and... Uh, it's you know real good technique if you if you know the fish is there instead of with a Carolina rig and you know dragging it past them you can keep that bait right there in the strike zone right there in their face and, and they will eventually bite it hopefully that's the plan but uh, let's take you first uh, how I rig it uh, what I've got here is a uh, is a one aught uh, is a drop shot hook I think it's a VMC hook uh, you know drop shot being a uh, finesse technique then you, you really need some smaller hooks um, and what I'll do when I'm tying this most real important thing is you see there where the hook is go in where the hook comes in and I'll show you why here in a second and what I'll do when I'm tying this is I tie just a regular polymer knot I got a long leader here tie my weight on I just tie a regular polymer knot. Like that. Okay, and the reason that I put the hook in like that is when you time this, you know, now your hook is pointing up and it's, you know, straight up and down so that when uh, your fish grabs it, it's getting right in the roof of the mouth. Okay. Now the weight that I use is a little bit different than what other folks use. This is a uh, kind of a bell sinker type bass casting, you know, type. And the reason that I use that instead of a traditional drop shot where you put the line through and snag it on there is uh, number one, I lo you lose a lot of weights like that. And number two, you know, I fish it vertical a lot, which is a vertical technique, but I'll also cast it if I'm, uh, you know, fishing docks I'll pitch into an empty dock, or uh, if there's a lay down, I'll kind of fish near it and I'll cast to it. But with a regular um, drop shot weight, I've found that a lot of times I'll sling the weight off. Um, so that's why I don't do that. And uh, time my weight on again, a polymer knot. A lot of people get real technical about the leader length and everything. I don't. I like to keep it simple. You know, about uh, 12 inches or so is good for me. I'll guess at it. Uh, seen a lot of people say, well, you get 6 inches, 8 inches, 12. To me, I keep it simple and you know simple is always better you just cut your tag now the baits you use on this you know there's a variety of, of baits any small finesse bait uh, I like to use a, a KVD dream shot a lot and uh, what I'm using today is a this is a zoom finesse worm it's uh, you know four or five inches uh, the dream shot is real good I really like that uh, but today they're kind of keying in on this so um, that's what I'll use and, and I just nose hook it you know it's you got it nose hook it's dangling down there and that's sticking straight up and uh, it's a good time okay as far as rod and reel setup goes I've got this on a let me see six and a half foot lose speed stick excuse me a carbon speed stick with a lose speed spin it's a 61 ratio and uh, as far as line goes I like to use eight pound fluorocarbon now I will use uh, I think I've got 15 pound spider wire as far as a backing braid now that will help you uh, not get so many loops in your line you know spinning reels are notorious for getting loops so I will always use a backing uh, a braid backing whether it be you know if I'm using it for, a, you know, I've got a rod set up for a shaky head or 
or a, you know, a weightless worm or whatever, I'll always use that braid and it helps me get a little bit more distance and it will cut out that uh, uh, loop and, and, and you know, line twist that you'll get with a, typically with a spinning reel. And uh, you know, I'll tie it on, I'll use a uni to uni knot and then I'll uh, put about you know, 20 or 30 uh, yards of uh, fluorocarbon on there and uh, it just works out really good for me. So uh, six and a half foot uh, loose speed stick, um, speed spool, six to one gear ratio, and uh, I like this setup. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to show you uh, how I set up my depth finder now. There's a little bit of a glare on the screen, I apologize for that, but uh, the way I set it up, I've got my sensitivity and speed at about the midway point. Uh, that's where I like to start. Uh, as you can see, I don't have an expensive graph, but uh, um, when I'm setting up that, I kind of, that's how I set it up. I start in the middle and I kind of tweak it. Uh, some days you can see more, some days it's less. It's just, you know, uh, some days you just have to play with it. Uh, as you can see, there's some fish down there. But, uh, you know, for suspended fish especially, um, this works pretty good because you can drop down to the exact depth that you are. Now, I'm going to drop my drop shot down and uh, show you how it looks going down. As you can see, it's going down. I'm going to stop it right there. Now, uh, as you can see, that's, that's the depth. I'm about at seven and a half, eight feet. Uh, it's going to show a fish there, but that's actually my lure. It's dangling up and down. And uh, let me bring it up a little bit. I can take it back down. And I want to know where my bait is in the water column. Uh, like I said, it's showing fish right now, but that's just my drop shot. You can see there's two distinct um, lines. That is my weight, and that is my drop shot bait. Let's go ahead and drop it all the way down to the bottom there. Okay, I'm on the bottom there, and as you can see, there's two distinct lines, you know, and just wherever that fish is in the water column, then you can just drop right down there to it, and, and uh, you know, if they're suspended, you can really pinpoint them like that, so uh, I hope that helps. Okay, and uh, let me get it back up here. All right, guys, as far as drop shotting, uh, that's my basic setup. And as far as rod and reels, got a six and a half foot medium heavy uh, loose speed stick. And uh, that's a good reel, I like it. And it works pretty good for me. Uh, as far as lures, you know, any type of finesse lure will work. I've used uh, KVD Dream Shots. I like those, a Zoom Finesse. Uh, even a, uh, a Junior Fluke or, or one of those small flukes will work pretty good. Uh, but it's like anything else, you just gotta find what they're biting. What color, what style, how they want you to jiggle it. So, uh, hope that helps you out. Uh, as far as the drop shot, that's how I do it. You know, some people may do it a different way. You know, like all my videos, this is how I do it. So, uh, hope it helps you out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, tell me what you think and uh, what you want to see next. So, um, like I said, subscribe, like, share, and uh, we'll see you down the road.